2024 season opener for the Southeast Gassers Association right here at Brainerd Motorsports Park. Hello, I'm Lee Kraft, host here on the Monday Morning Racer YouTube channel, and we will be focusing on A-Gas competition here with Sega. And the stories abound in that class. You have Leslie Horn in competition, driver of the Chick Magnet. He is the new owner for the Southeast Gassers Association. Leslie Horn is known as the Chick Magnet in Sega competition. He's certainly hoping that he is a trophy magnet. Good start. Number one qualifier, Leslie Horn. It's a new era, though, for Sega competition. You're the boss. Yes, it's new era. It's, uh, it's been great so far, Lee. All the, all the positive feedback stuff we've had. Um, this lot of lower showing out for us. Give us this good day today. You know, yesterday it rained. Um, I woke up at 3 o'clock this morning just stressing, walking back and forth to the motor home saying, boy, come on now. And then I laid down, took another little nap, got up at 7, and the chances was gone. I mean, it was like 6%, so that's awesome. Old chicken running good today. Um, she just set a new record. I got to go out and back it up. Um, she's fast. She's a bad hot rod today. So we're, uh, we're hoping to uh, set a standard. We're going out there. We come to race to win. That's what I do, I'm a racer. All the rest of this stuff, I got people in place running that. I don't care nothing about none of that. I'm here to race, and that's what I want to do. Quain Stott, the former owner and ProMod great, he is still here though, and is in competition in A-Gas, and now is just concerned with going and earning a trophy 1967 style. Stott figures out some way to keep having a last great act. He wasn't done when it was done with Pro Mods, and the Pro Mod great isn't done with Sega, though you've sold it. You can now just be a racer, man. I am having a blast, buddy. I tell you what, no pressure. They was talking about weather might look a little bad, and I didn't even care. Because it ain't going to cost me a dime if it rains this race out. <laughs> How is the car running? It's doing pretty good. We're still a little bit behind. I'm probably about a tenth off the field right now, so but I'll get it. We didn't need any test time this year, so didn't get much test. Didn't actually didn't do any testing. We got here, so but I'm I'm coming after them. I'll get them here in a race or two. Also, Gabriel Burrell in one of the few Fords in the class. Your defending 2023 champion did decide to travel down the road to Brainerd Motorsports Park and pick up a title defense here in. 2024 in a gas competition. This man in the South definitely did a lot of flying. The 2023 defending champion in Sega in a gas. Gabe, what's going on with the car right now? Though you are number two, you were number one. Didn't make that last pass in qualifying. I just trying to save the clutch. It's wore out junk still in it right now didn't change anything this winter because it was running so good at shady side so just trying to make the the clutch last through the day nothing's going on really rain overnight here at brainerd motorsports park how does the track feel what does it look like how do you think round one is going to shape up into the rest of eliminations a track's great so far i mean i've run the best pass i've ever made uh today and leslie made the best pass he's ever made today so track's doing what it needs to do uh we just got to do our part here now on to eliminations here on monday morning racer and by the way southeastgassergear.com is where you can find all the sega swag including stickers
Mr. Burl gets a round one win, but it was a violent move, and round two is not going to be in the cards for you, it sounds like, today. It is not. We uh, built the car five, six years ago and made a little experiment on the ladder bars there, and they finally uh, gave up to the ghost, bent the right ladder bar really bad, and started to bend the left one after it bent the right one, I think. So we got to go home and do some cutting and welding. Series defending champ. We're back here at Ringgold, Georgia, Brainerd Motorsports Park. What have you thought of the day so far? Seems like we got a tremendous crowd. Yeah, the crowd's great. The track was great. Good enough to break ladder bars anyways. <laughs> uh, everything hooked up. I think fans are going to have a good show. I just wish I was there to give them one here a little later on in the day, but it is what it is. Ben Christopher in the Happy Days Chevrolet here in Agas is, well, already having a happy day with a round one victory, but that was not something we expected with you having no burnout and getting around a stiff competitor in Rob Walden. Yes, sir. Uh, I probably shouldn't have staged it. I looked at my gauge and my fuel pressure gauge was on zero. And it turns out that luckily I got just a faulty fuel gauge and it wasn't a actual fuel pressure. So I come back and we checked it three or four times and the fuel pumps, you know, working like it's supposed to be, and the gauge just malfunctioned. So yeah, I did get away. I dodged a bullet on that one. Um, hats off to Rob. Uh, I don't know what happened to him, but uh, I'm very thankful, you know, that I got I was able to make that round. Ben is in round two. Thank you, sir. Right now, Leslie Horn has reset the ET record today for a game. The man's a former multi-time champion. He is now the owner of the Southeast Gassers Association, and you just took out the former owner. Leslie, you're supposed to respect your elders, man. Hey, I, I, I respect all of them until we get up there for that five or six seconds, and after that, I don't respect none of them. I come to, I come to win. If I pull up, I didn't pull up to, to not win. So um, it's working out for me today. It's, I got a couple of heavy hitters coming this next round. I'm pretty sure I'm going to win. I'm running that car named Bye. So I think we're going to be good on that on that run. Um, so then we'll go into the finals. So I'm going to get a buy into the finals. So I'm uh, still working on that record. I done moved it one time. I moved it to a 22, a 522 with a four. I went a 16 with a one earlier, but I have to be within 1%. So I've got to run a 21 with a two in order to back it up. So hopefully I'll get it here in a minute and click it off. I'm hoping. That's what I'm going to try to do on this buy run, trying to make a good pass. Leslie, I think it speaks volumes that Quain is still involved. He's still here. He's still racing, and you took him out. Yeah, Quain is. You know, Quain will always be the founder. I don't care whatever happens to it. 
Quain's the one that got me into it. I've known Quain my whole life. I know you've heard the story, Lee. I'm from Green Creek, North Carolina originally. His dad knew my dad. I've known him. He, he was a hero when I was a little boy to me. I used to look up to him. I remember going to Landrum, and every time we went by his shop, I'd want to stop and check out his Camaro, which finally ended up getting stole at some time back in the 80s. Um, never found it. But anyway, um, I've just always known Quain. We've been talking about it for probably, I don't know, off and on. He's teased me a little bit for a couple of years. Um, but yeah, just him here supporting us is uh, it, it, it speaks volumes for him. And he is, he feels like a way the world's lifted off of him. Um, I'm taking a different approach for him. Um, I've got guys running it. They're going to run it. Um, I told I had a meeting earlier with all the employees, and I said, don't don't call me with nothing. I don't want nothing. You talk to Randy or you talk to Rocky. That's it. So that's the way I'm going to run it this year. I'm here to race. That's what I'm at. I'm a racer at heart. I'm not nothing, no different than I was last year. So that's all, that's all it is. Kenneth Phillips in the Silver Streak, a beautiful gasser out here in Sega competition. He's looking to be gold at the end of the night, finishing number one. Can you demagnetize old Chick Magnet? I think so. That's what we're here for. We're going to try our best. we kind of been struggling a little bit today, but it's kind of coming around a little bit, so we're going to see what we can do with it. The man holding up the checkers here at Brainerd Motorsports Park. The gold standard in A-Gas tonight. Kenneth Phillips picking up a win. Been a little while. It's been a while. Yeah, I think the last one was at Knoxville last year. So, and only one last year. You got it done tonight. Really not being the quickest car either. The chick magnet old Leslie Horn putting up fresh numbers on the record books. But you were able to still get the win. I was. Yeah, he's... He really picked up. He was fast, but we just kind of hung in there and took the win. Kenneth Phillips, your winner in A-Gas, here for the season opener of the Southeast Gassers Association. You can see a full recap on PowerTube TV. I'm Lee Kraft. Thank you for watching Monday Morning Racer.